please be advised that Little Miss Recap contains adult language. But I've shut your mouth and let me talk to you for a minute. No, 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 no. You won't. You keep cutting me off. No, no, no. I don't expect you to back me up anymore. Don't you dare point your finger at me. I've been here day long, in and out, for all these years. No, no, you stay I'm and talk. I'm done listening to you. You stay and talk. Uh, no, I'm not going to, because you're not listening. You're not listening to me. And I'm not going to. OK, so we're done. Goodbye. F- you. Shut it off. I'm sorry, so sorry. Dear David Woolley, <laughs> on December 18th, 2023, I, Amy, you, Amanda, made such comments as, he's weird, he looks mm-hmm. like Grimace, mm-hmm. and then the ultimate. <laughs> Do we even have to repeat it? We know where we're going. The ultimate insinuated, I'm just, I, for good measure. Okay. <laughs> Shame. Shame. We said Shame. the most horrific thing anybody could say about a human being. And that was that we might bang Cody Brown over you. Mm-hmm. Dear David Woolley, I retract all of those statements. I retract <laughs> 99% of those statements. I still mm-hmm. think he's an odd duck, mm-hmm. which is fine. Mm-hmm. I like his odd duckness now. Yes, after seeing this wedding episode, I'm like, I, okay. I kind of okay. like his odd duckness. He, I still am not loving how he is in front of the camera, but I still think he just does not know how to be in front of a camera. Yes. When he, okay, so anyone who knows me knows how much I love a practical joke. Yeah. When he did that fake tumble onto the <laughs> stage, I'm like, okay, I love him now. Now I love him. <laughs> I thought that was cute. And that yes. Christine had no idea yes. until he like had to explain it all to her. Yes. So I'm here with I don't know what what is the expression when you come to somebody and you're like for like begging for forgiveness. We're My being, hat in hand. We're our oh, our hats are in hand. Mhm. We're being cont- no, not contrite, apologetic. And we are begging you, David Woolley, Please to forgive, forgive us. us. We didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know. Now we know better. When you know better, you do better. And now we know better. Forgive us and let us back into that circle of trust. We really were always on your team. We just didn't know it. We didn't know it. The idea that we would have laid under Cody Brown. (laughs) Yeah. Even for five seconds. I'm really ashamed of that episode. I need to pull it from the archives. <laughs> you actually don't because it's incredibly funny. The fact that you mm. forced me to say this out loud <laughs> um, is incredibly funny. But we were wrong. You know what? You know what's great about us, Amy? That we, we say admit, we're wrong. We can admit when we've made mistakes and we, we learn from all- them and we grow. We also gloat when we're right. And oh, I would 100%. like to gloat and say, if you do not come away from this wedding with... The idea that truly Grace Brown is the most amazing human being ever. I don't know who you are. If she's not in that pyramid floating over on the dollar bill, who are you and what is your problem? Then that's the real conversation that we need to have. (laughs) Not about the dress or the flowers or the facials or Mm McKelty being Mm McKelty. It's Mm -hmm. how you cannot love truly Grace Brown because she was amazing. She's amazing. When she bursts through that door with the transition lenses still tinted, mm-hmm. they're like a three when she busts mm-hmm. through the door and she's like, hey, kids, mom's, mom's get- getting married. I'm like, this is what I need. The fact that it was the first shot that we saw, I was like, oh, Amy is going to be the happiest girl. <sighs> yeah. I need to somehow work out a swap with one of my kids. Just swap. Which one are you giving up? I have an idea. I can't say it on air because I feel like (laughs) one of them will hear me. (laughs) But I'm going to swap one out and I'm just going to put that kid in Truly's bed. It's fine. And stick a pair of transitions on her. (laughs) Christine will never know. No. Mm -mm. I mean, the fact that both of your girls are dark brunettes and all of her children are blondes. (laughs) It will be fine. My kids have like that Italian olive skin. Don't worry. She'll never notice. 
She'll never know. She's not mm-hmm. real. I don't know if Christine's real observant. So you can probably get away with it. I could probably get away with it. If it was Janelle, I'd totally get away with it. Oh. Janelle mm-hmm. would be like, this is my this is my daughter X. <laughs> this is fine. Overall. Yes. What did you think of this episode? I thought it was so much fun. I was so excited to see kids other than um who have we really only seen truly, which I'm always happy to see truly. Like uh, no, always truly happy to Savannah. see truly. truly and Savannah. Is truly and Savannah, seen but like we haven't seen Aspen in years. We see McKelty quite a bit too. We see McKelty quite a bit. Yeah. We see Aspen. We, we haven't see... seen him forever. Right, we Isabel. See... We haven't seen. We haven't seen. We didn't see Isabel much last season at all because mm-hmm. she was living in South Carolina with Maddie. But we saw Maddie Hunter's back. We saw Caleb. We saw Ca- Caleb talked. Amy Caleb sitting there talking about liking somebody other than Cody Brown. Caleb actually kind of shit talked Cody in a very subtle way, and I was here for it. That probably okay. Okay, we also need to talk about Cody. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. I'm, I'm, wow. Either he has found himself his way to his own Lexapro uh, journey, well, journey, yeah, or someone told him to shut the fuck up and just be nice. I think he got a PR person. I really do. I think after 17 years. No, no. How many how many years have we had Dark Cody? Oh. At least four, right? At least four or five, yeah. <laughs> basically after, since COVID. And like basically since Flagstaff, it's been Dark Cody. So after like five years of people chasing you around on the street, screaming at you that you suck with signs. Yeah. I think he finally was like, I better do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> that was John Dutton. Sorry. He just popped I in. I understand. And he goes out and he gets he gets a PR team. He had yeah. to have. He said 99% of all the right things. Yes. Um, he did make the mistake of wearing the Heart of the Ocean David Yerman necklace. Mm-hmm. He did wear the Heart of the Ocean. That showed uh, up. That necklace is so ugly. Um. I sent a picture to you. I'm going to put it back to our friends. I don't think I'm the only one watching Vikings Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> what channel is Vikings Valhalla on? Netflix. Oh, okay. And it is a bunch of hot people, men and women. Okay. Just a bunch of hot fucking Swedes showing well, we're up. We're on leftovers now. Oh, so well, same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Um, so there is a lead character of Vikings Valhalla, Harold, I forget his last name. He is Andrew absolutely Kinder stunning. Something. He's stunning. Oh man. Can't take your eyes off him. Real six pack apps. Should we make Janelle watch this then so she understands? Oh, 100%. Janelle would be into this guy 100%. Yeah. Um, Cody is the broke down wish version. Don't get me wrong. He's not comparable. I understand. But I I think that's what he's going for because he has his hair done the same way. His hair's changed a little bit too. Mm -hmm. And he has the same facial hair. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Look this guy up. That That could be happening. Uh, Yeah. I... um, yeah okay i'll give you that he's something happened something happened with this dude that has changed who he is either that or he read all the comments on his instagram he do you think he would take the time to do that i don't know i don't know i don't know it's a lot of work it's a lot of work there are thousands saying how shitty he is right going in detail about how horrible of a person he is yeah it's just yeah. a lot to ask of anybody. It's a lot. It's like me reading the reviews on my first book. Yeah, you know, don't there's do it. Quite a few that tell me how horrible I am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I understand. Mm-hmm. I understand. All right, girl, take us away. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. First of all, I, I'm going to have a note in the beginning and the end. The beginning note is that you know they always do the next time on Sister Wives intro. Mm-hmm. And the Cody has to say it. No, it's Christine at the beginning. It's Cody at the end. Oh, okay. Okay. Which get his voice off of this? Yeah, get his voice what out they of. Should have mouth. done if they were doing it. If if Tim Gibbons were doing this right, he's he not. Would start with Christine. The next time on would have been David Woolley. That would have sounded like the next time on. <laughs> like it would have been real weird. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, his voice is a, is a challenge for me, but that's okay. So we are in Moab, Utah. I have been to Moab, Utah. You have. I have. Okay. I have. Did you it's- get married there? 
No. no. Okay. I drove All through right. with my friend Kevin, though, who was married to someone else. Mm, okay. okay. Right. Um, it was really fucking beautiful. It was beautiful. It is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And this was in 2008. So I suspect there's a lot more going on there than there is than there now than there was. Than then. there was when you were yeah, there. Yeah. But it was very mm -hmm. cool. So they, re they rented a bunch of houses. Everyone's showing up. Christine's mom and sister pull up. And we meet Bethany. <sighs> Go ahead. Bethany is truly all grown up. You want to see what truly is going to look like as an adult. Boom, there she is. Yeah, standing there with her sunglasses on, looking sort of like the Terminator, but mm -hmm. polygamy mm -hmm. magic Terminator, mm -hmm. sort of. She had a wolf shirt on that the wolf was in <laughs> outer space. <laughs> so that was great. And she had the hair just poker straight, like a triangle. Yep. She yep. was... she. She's too lazy to even wear transitions. She just wears the sunglasses. That's it. <laughs> Inside and out. Doesn't take them off. Inside and out. Fine. Mm hmm Yep. Completely she fine. was amazing. She's amazing. Yeah. She's truly in 20 years. Mm hmm And mm -hmm. they're super psyched. Everyone's so pumped. One of the best parts about this is how pumped everybody is about this wedding. I agree. All, Everyone was so happy for her. They are so happy. And so, again, we do the intro to David Okay, they've been together for 10 months, or 11 months, or a year, or 11 months, or a year, or 10 or months, five or five months, <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> and I do think a little bit of is when you're older, you're like, eh, I, I, I figured this out now, though I think Christine is still 19 years old, but we'll get there. So David says he's a little nervous, but he's so excited to marry her. We hear the story of their meeting. You know, she found his, we, we've heard a lot of this before. She mm -hmm. found his profile thought i want to be with the guy who smiles and has eyes like that so she swiped right on him she was more the pursuer than he was yeah she said we should meet which, get it girl for someone who's never fucking dated yep that is a baller move and i'm here for it mm -hmm. and... i think truly was coaching her maybe mom go for, like, go for mom, it just get out there what are you doing <laughs> grab life by shit. the balls no. grab this guy by the balls I don't, I don't want to think of truly knowing what balls are. I'm not ready for that. And Jan Janelle's like, David is great. One of the things I like about, best about him is he actually helps prep for parties and he takes care of things. Unlike oh, Cody. my God. The, the trolling footage of Cody was everything. Uh -huh. Just standing there. Mm -hmm. All these people are running mm -hmm. around like a lunatic. And he's just mm -hmm. like, Duh. Half the time he's on his phone, probably, because mm -hmm. you know him with that goddamn phone. Right. Talking to Robin. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to have Christine's mom. I love Christine's mom. I've always loved Annie. Grandma Annie. Yeah. Yeah. She's aged a little bit, though. I was not prepared yeah. for that. Then again, we met her like 15 years ago. So, yeah, I, yeah. I too have aged a little bit in the last yeah. 15 years. It's fine. They So we keep going back to their love story. So she goes on their first date. David and Christine go on their first date. And she thought David had the most beautiful eyes and really dug his bald head like she was real into it real into it uh-huh mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is fine i mean after looking at that fucking ramen hair for 30 years i, too I know would give a it's bald the head. it's the ultimate fuck you because she yeah. has said cody's hair became like the fifth wife right mm -hmm. and now she has a guy who just shaves his head and it's fine and it tracks because shamar moore's bald I so like you know it tracks. Men. i have no problem with bald men at all i know some people get real weird about it i am not one of those people i'm not weird about it yeah. And when she walked up, he kind of looked her up and down and was like, yeah, yeah, she's a hottie. I'm in. Yeah, this. he said she's hot. I thought that was so I know. cute. And the way she lit up when he said that. Mm -hmm. So he thought it was, she was a hottie and mm -hmm. he thought mm -hmm. her glow was incredible, mm -hmm. which it is. Okay. It is. She's she has like an infectious zeal for life, right? She does. Like, she has she's way more so patience giggly. with people than I do. She has way more. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She's just, she feels better than me in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really, as much as I've always loved her, I really loved her in this episode. Yeah, she's great. She's great. So uh, we come back to this house and they're bringing in these boxes and they're saying everyone's going to leave the wedding in the dark. So David got these like glow stick sunglasses that they have to assemble for folks, which I thought were super cute. And 
I guess it's his grandson. We never introduce him, but there's some rando kid here who we know doesn't belong to Christine. So I'm yeah, going to assume like, David's grandson. I'm like, they shove some poor innocent kid in a dark closet. What's happening there? <laughs> I realize he had the dark glass. He yeah. had the glasses on. <laughs> yeah. He's like, do you want to try them? And then he points at Christine and he's like, I want to try them with you. Yeah. And it was super cute. Well, for a minute, uh, I thought they were just shoving this bad kid in the closet. And I was like, oh, my God, they like to scare kids. I like them even better now. <laughs> hey, everyone, stay tuned. Little Miss Recap will be right back after these words. Uh, Rob, I'm going to go like like a parent. I'm going to go through all the names before I get to the one I mean. <laughs> Cody uh, says he's fine that. That she's remarrying. He's resolved mm-hmm. to it. And she's mm-hmm. made the accusation. And Robin cuts him off and says, aren't we just so happy for them? Well, we saw that sign. She's made the accusation. To, and Robin's like, aren't we just, just so happy for I, them? Right? We're so happy. She is the mean girl in middle school. When I see that, I'm like, something inside me is like, run, run, run. Hide your jewelry. Hide your lunch money. I don't mm-hmm. know. But your Bonnie Bell off. lip gloss is is going. Yes. Going. <laughs> I hate her and he says he just wanted to tell the story and that's basically the christine told the kids that dad found his soulmate so i'm gonna go find mine yeah Which actually he, it's not a bad right he's like i was trying to say something nice but robin like you was like know what the fuck is gonna come out of his mouth right you cannot be trusted with your own mouth sir <laughs> no. and he says he's happy that she's found that and robin i can tell robin like did not trust what he was going to say Mm-mm. and she says I just hope that Christine and David can be happy. So fake. Fuck off. It is she so has risen. fake. I am to the point now where I sometimes wonder, oh God, let me get it. Oh God. Shame. I'm to the point now where Shame. I sometimes wonder if Cody is not Shame. a victim in this as well. <laughs> Your face. Wow. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> In that, in that, she has deluded reality around him so much. Could be. That but it, he's still evil. It's the catalyst for him becoming evil. Okay. Is her. Okay. 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 He's still evil. He's still evil. Cody okay. Brown, hear me, hear me, people. Cody okay. Brown is a bad man. <laughs> yes, he is. Bad, bad man. <laughs> bad, bad man. So he can again, show we- up with that Harold Swigerson haircut and that <laughs> heart of the ocean, and he's not fooling me. Well, heart of the ocean doesn't help him. It hurts him. That's in the negative column. Yeah. That's yeah. not a help. It is. Particularly given the fact that Janelle was living in student housing when he bought that fucking necklace. Do we and know how much it was? Did we have eyes on the cost? Uh, it's about $1,200. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, McKelty loves David. Okay, cool. David has two sisters that live polygamy. Mm-hmm. And in Ra- Mexico. I, in Mexico. And mm-hmm. uh, Mc- uh christine again why can't i i'm like uh, uh, uh." christine is like you're not interested in that are you and he's like nope 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 (laughs) no no no. mckelty goes on this whole thing about how she thinks it's too soon and they should wait until december Mm -hmm. and christine's like i see what you're doing here i Mm -hmm. see it Mm -hmm. mckelty's been holding that one close to the vest for a long time Uh Mm -hmm. uh Mm uh-huh and Christine says, it hasn't actually been a year. It's been 11 months. Don't tell the kids. Christine, this is going on national television. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, don't tell the kids because she told her kids they had to wait a year. Now, this is where, if you remember, we talked about this a while back, that McKelty said at the time when she announced her wedding that Robin was the only one who was supportive. Yep. Yeah. And the only one who really embraced Tony. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Tony and McKelty go into this whole thing of basically saying all the things that their family, her family said to them. Yes. When they're engaged. Mm -hmm. Christine says um, that David is digging her, giving her the wedding of her dreams. And she's just so excited. And David is digging her. He is digging her. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. My only complaint is the number of times she's like, my wedding, my wedding. I'm getting married. My wedding. I know. That's the only cringy part. I know. But we have to look at it through a trauma focused lens of- She's never had a wedding all to herself. She was marrying She's getting somebody redeemed. husband. Right. right. Mm-hmm. She is getting all of the redemption here. So it's yes. fine. She talks about how her first wedding was very different, which we know. 
It wasn't a party. It was very small. They just mm-hmm. had a dinner. So she's just so psyched. Satan himself thing. was at the end of the aisle. She had to walk to <laughs> Satan. It's never good. Ooh, do you think Becca from Maths was there with <laughs> Cody course, at the end of the aisle? Of course. They're best <laughs> friends. Right. Uh, McKelty dumps the twins on Christine because she's got to mm-hmm. go do shit. Mark, Christine. get rid of those twins. Mm-hmm. That's right. Christine's thrilled. And... Christine says that she's talking about her dating again. She wasn't going to get serious and actually had another date set up on the same day she was meeting David. Now that's a baller move for a girl who's never dated. You know, that happened to me. Did it? Yes. I had a date with a guy who was great. Okay. And I just wasn't that into him because, oh, he was clean and like had a good job and. Oh, he was too. Did well in school. You know what I mean? This is is when I was a senior in high school. Oh. So um, I blew him off and went out with my first husband and that was it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay though because all of that had to get you to Timmy and the girls. I know. And he moved to Florida and became like a real weirdo. So I dodged a bullet. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Can't do Mm -hmm. that. And so she meets David. She had such a good time. She canceled the other date. Good for her. her Yep, called her matchmaker and was like, nope, don't need you anymore. Done. Yeah, she just knew. She, she just, just knew. knew. Mm-hmm. And Christine and David are talking. And it, there's one scene where Christine has no makeup on. And she's yeah. just so pretty. She's very pretty. And she just has like this. And I, I you know, I rewatched episode one mm-hmm. for our rewatch, which guys, I have something planned. I can't wait. Up she my won't tell me sleeve. what it is. Mm-hmm. Um. Like, just going back, Christine was always just so full of light. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. The homeschooling so those kids were getting is questionable at best. And I'll attack that. <sighs> yeah, but, but these kids are doing okay, too. They are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Whatever I mean, she did, it worked. Dude, Logan has his MBA. I know. Hunter is has his master's in nursing from fucking Johns Hopkins. Some of these kids got something out of her, yep. you know, like yep. school, homeschooling. So. Yes. And I just said, she can't stop giggling. She's just so excited. We got Cody back on the couch and he says his quest- his wedding to Christine was lackluster. Mm-hmm. Even though he's being kind of mean, he's very kind in his, not meanness. He's just like talking about it as it is. He's not being mean is what I'm saying. He's being honest about how difficult it was. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Folks, shame. she gets this look on her face when she's about to do the shame, shame bell. I know it's coming. Go ahead. Shame. <laughs> Um, this is like, this is reminiscent of like maybe season four Cody Brown Mm -hmm. before the darkness set in. This is absolutely before the darkness set in. Maybe some of the darkness is leaving. And I've realized two things. Number one, I like him so much better when he's like this. Mm -hmm. I think it's the peacemaker inside me. Like when Mm -hmm. people are being nice to each other, it just gives me a sense of relief. It makes me feel so much more comfortable Mm -hmm. and safe. Um, but what? Are we just going to fold up and go home if he turns out to be decent again? No, he can't be decent that long. Okay. All right. Don't worry. No, like, no, will the worry. podcast just go completely under? No, no, no. no. Okay. Don't worry. Right. Okay. First of all, we have 17 seasons of this shit to get back through. So we True. got a long time to go. True. Uh, he says he had a thousand yard stare. Mm-hmm. He had two other wives who weren't in the best emotional condition, which to me says that's exactly the time you should get married. You dumbass. Yeah. yeah. Bring it in. They didn't get to know Christine well enough, which I find weird because he and Christine have been friends for years. Mm-hmm. She'd been in their little world, but whatever. Mm-hmm. He says it wasn't a great day for anyone. And he, ho- this is where I actually was like, oh God, he hopes <laughs> that she has the great day that she deserves at her wedding. And if she's doing something spectacular and wonderful and David is digging on it, good for them. And it felt sincere, Amy. It felt sincere. And I want to say something. Yeah. Number one, is it because he's away from the radioactive nucleus of Robin? Could be. Number two, if he wants any chance of reconciling with his kids, this is what he needs to be saying about their mothers. Yeah. yeah. Not, I don't he's, fucking love her. And I will, yeah, I had to hold my nose saying, while I was sleeping with her. Whatever. I want good things for her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My, my father would absolutely say, I want your mother to be healthy and happy. Yes. A hundred percent. Yes. And he means it. Yeah. He yep. absolutely means it. So now it's party boat time. They're floating down the, and as Christine said, Colorado River? Like 
girl doesn't know what river she's about to float down. I don't That's know okay. what river they're on. The Colorado River. Okay. I would have known that even before they said it. Not me. Okay. okay. Yeah. I- I'm a geography nerd. I I know a lot of geography, but I don't know. For some reason, that I've never been to that part of the country, and it just doesn't yeah. resonate with me. Understood. Understood. And uh, they say it's a floating bar. Mm-hmm. We see Christine chugging a beer with Hunter, like, go, go, go. she talks about how she didn't drink in her first marriage but now she drinks and has tattoos but Mm -hmm. she's still very sheltered which we know david has even said like she's a little naive at times yeah it's fine then janelle so she's like look if anyone wants to make speeches it's now let's reenact this let's reenact this you 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 say that part go ahead okay if anyone wants to make a speech, now I'll do time it. to do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, I, Janelle, my, sis, my yes. sister wife, yes. is going to be giving. Okay. So here's the speech. She's super emotional. I actually wrote it down too. Oh, Did I didn't write it down? down. I'm just going to wing it here. Ready? Okay. Here's the speech. <clears throat> um, so have a good day, Christine. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, for Chris, for Janelle, this was this was emoting. First of all, she could barely get it out. She choked up multiple times. First of all, I was stunned that she raised her hand to give a speech. Me too. You know too. I would do that immediately. Oh, you and I would both be the like, me. Me. I think me, to say. me, me. Yes. A hundred percent. Particularly if I've had a drink or two in me, then I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I got all the things to say. And yep. I will cry and I'll make you cry. I mean, that's mm. just who I am. Yep. That's who I am. Yep. I can't wait for your vow renewal, assuming yes. I'll be there yes. so that I can see you cry. Okay. Yes. And she's, I wrote it down. She says, okay, this ahead. is a fairy tale. I'm so excited to be a part of this. Thank you for making me part of the deal, for loving my children and letting me love yours. Mm-hmm. Which I just thought was sweet. I could cry right now. <laughs> okay, don't. We're going to keep going. They hug and it's sweet. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to this sample episode. To hear the entire episode and to take part in our Sister Wives rewatch, which starts right after this wedding coverage, please join any of our Little Miss Recap Extra services, Patreon, Supercast, or Apple subscriptions. You need to sign up at the $8 tier to get Sister Wives content, and you'll also get 90 Day the Single Life. Thanks for listening, and hope to see you soon. Shut it off.